Hey, Summer Jam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all know. All right. <laughs> the little thing, it says live up there. I think we're going. All right. Hey, Summer Jammers. It's Neil and Richard from Challenge Post. And uh, this is our second uh, Summer Jam hangout that we're doing. Uh, today, we're joined by Greg from Twilio. Say hi, Greg. Hello. And uh, today we want to talk about reinventing the selfie and what that means. Uh, just as a heads up, uh, your applications are, submissions are due at 5 p.m. on Monday, the 22nd. So uh, you still have plenty of time to, to reinvent the selfie and help us fight the duck face. That's what we're against. We, uh, we're tired of duck faces and a little bit selfie sticks. And so we think that the selfie very much is an art form and we want to protect it and get it ready for the next the next 20 years. And we think that you can help us do that, and that's what this hackathon is all about. Is Fight the Duck Face our official hashtag for this now? It's my official hashtag. It is your official You're hashtag. allowed to use it if you want. It's a great honor. So we've already got some projects in for Selfie, right? Uh, I believe so. I think we have four already in. Um, a great one called um, Selfie Shake that actually helps you use your selfie stick a little oh, better. Cool. Um, that's going to be helpful on the high line for anyone who's been near to the challenge post office. <laughs> Dodging true. selfie sticks, big part of my lunch hour. Uh, I was just walking in the subway today and I saw someone with a selfie stick in the subway, which I thought was a really odd place for it, but <laughs> you really can't get away from it. So selfies aren't going anywhere, so let's make them better for the world. Uh, it, it's a mission. But do you know someone who has made better selfies better for the world, especially for the canine world, is our friend Greg. That's right. Greg actually taught his dog how to take a selfie. And, Did you do uh, that, Greg? Did you make your dog take selfies? I, I will I will prove it to you. Awesome, man. Yeah, so Greg from Twilio, our title sponsor for reInvent the Selfie. It's super awesome to have Twilio involved. When we were kind of formulating like what reInvent the Selfie would be, Twilio was like our go-to API because we thought like selfies should be all about sharing. It should all be about sharing and communication and What's better for that than Twilio? So we really awesome to have you guys involved. I mean, it's, a, it's truly an honor to, to be here. I really appreciate it. Cool, man. So why don't you uh, show us what you've built? Show us what's going on yeah. and how people like might be able to use that and kind of think through some of the challenges you tackle for their yeah. own project. Yeah, I'd be happy to. I'll start off here with a quick video. Um, I agree in the hatred towards duck faces, so we're trying to replace those with dog faces. Um, and so here's a, a project that I built just using an Arduino Yoon, which is an Arduino that has a second chip on it uh, that's a Linux chip, so you can plug a webcam into it. And we just wired up this big button. Um, and the cool thing about the Yoon is Wi-Fi enabled. It runs Linux, so you can interact with pretty much any API that's out there. So I had my dog hit the button, takes the picture with the webcam, uploads the picture to Dropbox so that we can get a publicly accessible URL and then sends that URL through Twilio uh, to, um, to then uh, send an MMS to my phone, uh, and, and that's it. So that's how my dog uh, takes selfies. So uh, I'm just gonna walk you through real quick, just probably the next five minutes or so, just the code, and, and uh, even more than that, where you can find the code to use this as a, a basis for your own projects. Um, because the thing that was most exciting to me about this project is how truly simple it, it was. Um, so I wrote a blog post here, uh, how I taught my dog to text me selfies. Uh, so you just Google that and, you, and you'll find it pretty easily. Um, and uh, basically, I mean, I guess the project starts with the fact that I was able to teach my dog to press a button, uh, but it turns out she just loves treats and, and if you can kind of figure out how to communicate stuff to her, um, uh, she'll, she'll run over and do pretty much anything you want her to. So I taught her that, but you probably won't uh, you know, be dealing specifically with the dog, but you can certainly use some of these components uh, in your own projects here. Um, but like I said, I got an Arduino Yoon, uh, and the Arduino Yoon has a Linux chip on it, and so you can actually SSH into it, which I've done uh, over here. So this looks just like a standard terminal, but you can see here that um, it's you know, a root at Arduino. So I basically have this Yoon running on the same Wi-Fi network as my computer here, and that lets me SSH into it. Um, and then you can see it just it has a stripped down version of Linux, all the same stuff that you would uh, expect to see there. Um, and so we'll look at a couple of these files here that we use to do this. Um, the one problem with the Yoon is that you can't really turn on syntax highlighting. So I'm going to show you code 
there in just a second in Vim, but it, it looks kind of ugly. Uh, so let me just walk you kind of through what the code looks like on here. Um, and really, we just have total code running this uh, project here. The dog sending me selfies. It's about 31 lines of Arduino code and then about 24 lines of Python. Um, and so the Python is made up of two different uh, concepts pieced together. Um, and so the first one is that we're sending an SMS, you know, obviously. Um, and so this is one of the coolest things about Twilio when it comes to hackathons, but really life in general, but especially hackathons, is how much you can do with such little code. Um, and so this is all the code that it takes to send uh, an SMS in Python. And really, it's about the same amount of code in whatever language you're using. And regardless of whatever language you're using, we have a helper library probably for that. So uh, whether that's Android or, or uh, really doing stuff on iOS or Ruby or Python or .NET, um, we've got, or Java, like we've got helper libraries for just about everything out there. Um, and so you can see uh, quite simply, you know, I just throw in my account credentials. I grabbed a Twilio phone number, which uh, costs a uh, uh, dollar a month and you can buy uh, phone numbers pretty much any area code you want. Um, then I just instantiate a uh, REST client, and then really this is just like one command here that happens to be over four lines of code, but uh, I create a new text message, and I need to give it a to, a from, and a body. And um, you won't be able to see this here, but uh, you know I basically just run this in Python, and uh, again, off of the UN. And uh, in just a couple of seconds, my, my phone's going to light up here with that text message. Um, so just, I don't know, you probably didn't hear that, but just trust me that my phone just got a text message, said hello. Uh, so that's what we did for like the first like six, seven years of the company. We could send text messages and we could place and receive phone calls. And then last year, we turned on the ability to send and receive uh, MMS, so picture messages. And it's super easy to do. Uh, you just add, end up adding one extra parameter to this message call. And that's a URL parameter. Um, and so you just drop in a URL to a publicly accessible uh, 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 picture, and then it works. So I'll show you what that looks like here elsewhere um, in, in another piece of code here. Um, one of the problems with the Arduino UN is that you can plug a webcam into it. But when it takes the picture, it's local. And it is kind of a pain to open up the UN and to, to put a tunnel into it so that you can access the files that are on it from the publicly accessible internet. Um, and so what we needed to do was figure out a way that we could take a picture that was stored on the UN and get it up into the cloud. And, and for that, I used Dropbox. Um, and so I have another uh, file here. Uh, again, just a few lines of code. Uh, this is basically the getting started version of, uh, of Dropbox, like it's, it's the effectively cut and paste from their getting started guide. Um, and Dropbox is super cool. You know, it, it uh, lets you put files up in the cloud and then it will give you back a publicly accessible URL for that. And so all you can see here is that I'm just creating a, basically a timestamp so that I can give each file in Dropbox a unique file name. Um, then I instantiate a client. I open up the picture file that was taken with the webcam. Um, I put that file to Dropbox. And then I just print out the uh, th that it was uploaded. Um, and so if I run this, uh, then A, I'm going to get a little security error because I didn't set something up right on, uh, when I just reset up this UN here. Um, but you can see it gives me back some information. Um, and then you run a, one or two more commands here, and you get back your publicly accessible URL. So this whole project basically then just combines those two uh, files those two concepts together. Oops, wrong file. Uh, upload and send. There we go. Um, so this is all the same. I just basically mix and match these. So I'm setting my credentials here for both of these, set my cell phone number. Uh, then I create my timestamp. I open my file. I upload it to Dropbox. I get the publicly accessible URL. Uh, and then I instantiate my Twilio client and uh, do the exact same thing I did before, only I've added on here a media URL. And, and so I've effectively just concatenated these two files together uh, and then just rearranged some of the lines here. Um, and so then when I run that, uh, I do upload and send. Uh, it takes the picture that's here stored on my UN that came from the webcam, uploads it to Dropbox, 
gets a publicly accessible URL uh, and then use that publicly accessible URL to send a text message or a picture message here to my phone, which will come through here in just a second. Um, and that's it from like the Python side. And then just real quick, I'll show you what happens on the Arduino side, because basically everything that I've done there, uh, you could really do uh, on a laptop. Uh, you don't really need an Arduino, and you couldn't really uh, plug in a button to it. Uh, but again, this is effectively uh, the program after Hello World for the Arduino. The, the first thing that you do when you are playing with an Arduino, their Hello World is Blink. And then the next program that you'll run, the next program that's in all the Getting Started Guides, is how do you hook up a button to your Arduino. Um, and quite simply, uh, you know, we just walked through here, the Arduino has two different um, uh, pieces, like two different blocks. The first one runs the setup, uh, and it just is like, it runs once once your Arduino starts up. And this bridge here, uh, basically what I do is I define where the button is, and I establish a bridge between the two different chips that are on the Arduino. It has the Arduino that does the pens, and it has the Linux side. Um, and then this loop just runs continuously thousands of times a second after the setup happens. And so basically all I'm doing here is I'm just looking to see uh, is the button that I established, is it set to high, which means it hasn't been pressed. And if it is, then it runs two commands here. One is take a picture, one is upload and send. Um, and effectively, you can see what those are down here. I just establish a process which basically says, hey, I want to run something over on the Linux chip. Um, and so this is the command that runs the, uh, it's just a, a simple command line uh, argument that runs the webcam and takes a picture and stores it here, uh, which we had defined in our upload and send Python file. And then it, it runs this command, which uh, does, uh, it basically says Python and then gives the directory of the script that I want to run. So this basically just replicates everything I did from the command line before. And that's it, you know, the button's pressed, it takes a picture, it uploads and sends the picture using uh, less than 50 lines of Python code. Uh, and then the picture of my dog shows up on uh, my phone and then I, uh, you know, have to give her a treat. So um, if you want to replicate this or do something similar, like I said, just check out how I taught my dog to text me selfies. This is a post that does an overview of the whole process. Um, but then at the, uh, end of it, you'll see there are also three other tutorials that this builds on. Uh, this is basically just takes all three of these, puts them together in one piece. But there's a, a pretty thorough guide to getting started with the Yoon. So how do you take it out of the box, get it up and running, connect it to Wi-Fi? Um, then how do you build a, a photo booth? So how do you do the thing where you hit a button, take a picture of the webcam, upload the picture to Dropbox? And then how do you send and receive SMS? So how, how do you just take something from your you and some text or whatever? Like you could hook it up to a sensor that says, send you a text every time the room goes above 90 degrees or whenever a motion detector is tripped or whatever. Um, and so with these three tutorials, you should be able to effectively take a Yoon, hook up a button, hook up sensors to it, and then have it interact with literally any web API that is out there, really Dropbox and Twilio are, are just kind of the tips of the iceberg there. So super exciting stuff. And if y'all have any questions about Twilio or how to integrate in your hacks, uh, drop me an email. I'm gb at twilio.com, uh, or you can find me at Greggy B, G-R-E-G-G-Y-B um, on Twitter. Cool, thanks so much, Greg. That's a really awesome uh, hack that you put together. Um, I like that you were just overriding the same picture so you didn't have to worry about versioning or anything like that. So you always just had the the fresh file ready to go and ready to send out through Dropbox. Yeah, you know, I figured on the Yoon, well, A, there's there's some space concerns on the Yoon, although you can hook up an external SD card. But I figured I didn't need to save a log of every picture on the Yoon. Uh, but once I put it into Dropbox, like Dropbox is effectively infinite storage, so might as well uh, uh, keep a log of them there. And it's fun to go through. And we ran uh, the similar thing here at uh, uh, Signal, this big conference we put on, um, about a 1,500 person developer conference. And we had uh, one of our employees at Twilio has this gorgeous dog, a huge dog, prettier than my dog. And my dog's pretty pretty, so I don't say that lightly. Um, but uh, and the, she brought her dog to uh, to Signal, and she was hitting the button. And so it's super cool to be able to go back into Dropbox and just see, you know, the the several dozen selfies that she sent to the attendees as they walk past the room. So cool. Awesome. That's cool. So just to remind everyone watching, you've got until Monday night, 5 p.m. New York time, um, then to get your projects in. Uh, Twilio have put up an awesome Sony camera as the grand prize. So that's a chance to like really not just reinvent the selfie, but then take some pretty nice pictures as part of your selfie. 
So not yeah. not only take pretty nice pictures, but take ni uh, nice pictures of things that are not you. Uh, yeah, so. Very true. We're going to reinvent the selfie and photography all of the same. There you go. I think after this, we need to reinvent YouTube editing as well, Neil. Okay, yeah. We kind of screwed up the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, thanks for joining us, man. We really appreciate your time. Hey, uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. And, and again, if anyone has any questions, just please feel free to reach out. Cool. Check right. everything out, summerjam.challengepost.com. It's all there. We've got a summer of awesome hackathons for you. That's right. Keep jamming all summer.